It's been more than 24 hours now since Charlotte missionary Nancy Reifel arrived in the U.S. from Liberia. Of course, she's now receiving treatment for Ebola at Atlanta's Emory University Hospital, along with Dr. Kent Brantley. Archith Sashadri is live at Emory Hospital with the very latest developments. Archith? Because of HIPAA regulations and respect for the family's privacy, doctors could not give us an update on their conditions or how long they would receive treatment here at Emory University Hospital. But today we did find out from doctors that they are here and receiving treatment right now as we speak in an isolated portion of the hospital. This is a structure that they built more than a decade ago to prepare for such situations. It is one of only a handful of hospitals in the country to be able to combat infectious diseases like Ebola. So in yesterday, Wrightfall was wheeled into the hospital on a stretcher after flying in from Liberia and last weekend Kent Brantley the other patient he was brought in coming out of the ambulance walking out in a hazmat suit now today we also learned that it was the same crews from Grady that brought both patients in from the Air Force base right ball is the second patient in the United States to ever be treated for the Ebola virus so we keep hearing about the word Ebola. Well, what exactly is it? Well, today doctors told me it is a virus that can cause bleeding in the eyes, the nose, and can ultimately cause your organs to fail and even lead to death. Now, doctors say Ebola is nothing new. It first happened back in the 1970s, and they say you can't really contract it from eating anything or drinking water or even the air, but they say touching someone's blood or saliva or even touching a contaminant needle could cause you to get the virus. It's also very difficult to predict how long it would take for, for patients to make a full recovery. Um, I think clinical conditions can change, unexpected things can happen with the course of some patient's care, and that's all going to factor into the timeline. I think it's just way too early to say when we'd be ready to have these patients fully recovered and able to go home with their families. Nancy's son, Jeremy Wrightfall, is in Atlanta. He released this statement today, quote, we are grateful to be able to see our mom once again, and we entrust her care both to the Lord and to the fine doctors and staff at Emory University Hospital. Mom is tired from her travel, but continues to fight the virus and strengthen her faith in Redeemer Jesus. We were able to spend a few minutes with her to encourage her and be encouraged by her condition, end quote. Nancy's husband is in Liberia. He's expected to come back to the United States in the coming days. We hope to talk to him as well as Nancy's two sons in Atlanta sometime this week. Now, tomorrow night, there will be a prayer vigil here at Emory University Hospital to pray for both patients. And in Charlotte, her church service will also be holding something tomorrow night to pray for Nancy Wrightfall and Kent Brantley. Of course, any new information that we get, we'll pass along to you. Barbara. Just a few hours ago, the CDC changed its response status to the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. It is now a level one, which is the highest alert possible. As for the charlatan, Nancy Wrightbull, who is now in, U in the U.S., receiving treatment for Ebola, she's been at Emory University Hospital for well over 24 hours, and that's where we find Arch with Shashadri with the latest update on her condition. Arch? Barbara, that is the million dollar question that everybody wants to know. How are these patients doing tonight here at Emory University Hospital? I spoke to doctors earlier on today. Now they tell me because of HIPAA regulations and to respect the family's privacy, they cannot release any information about the conditions of these patients. Now, we're just hoping and praying that they recover quickly from the Ebola virus. Now, what they did tell me, however, is that they are getting treatment around the clock right here behind me at this facility in an isolated part of the hospital, separate from where the other patients are kept. And doctors tell me this is something they've been training for more than a decade, and now they are dealing with this real-life situation. Now, here's what I can tell you. Earlier on, doctors told us about how this all unfolded. Yesterday, Wright Ball arrived here at Emory University Hospital. She was brought in via ambulance in a stretcher. Last weekend, Kent Brantley, the other patient, was brought in, but he was seen walking out in his hazmat suit, so a little bit different how they actually came into the hospital. But, you know, doctors say that could just be because of age that has got nothing to do really, really do with their condition. Now, we also learned today that Grady EMS, that's the crew that brought them from the Air Force base to the hospital. It was the exact same crew that brought both patients. And we also wanted to find out a little bit about Ebola. I mean, a lot of people didn't know much about it. And so people wanted to find out, is there some kind of scare, anything to be worried about? And doctors say Ebola is nothing new. They've known about this since the 1970s, and they're not really concerned about any type of outbreaks. They want to rest assured short of the public there is no safety concerns or threats Ebola cannot be caught by drinking or by eating or even in the air you can only get the virus if you touch a contaminated needle or if you get into contact with someone's body fluids or blood or saliva
It's also very difficult to predict how long it would take for, for patients to make a full recovery. Um, I think clinical conditions can change, unexpected things can happen with the course of some patient's care, and that's all going to factor into the timeline. I think it's just way too early to say when we'd be ready to have these patients fully recovered and able to go home with their families. Nancy's son Jeremy Wrightball, he is here in Atlanta. He released this statement earlier on this afternoon. Quote, we are grateful to be able to see our mom once again, and we entrust her care both to the Lord and to the fine doctors and staff at Emory University Hospital. Mom is tired from her travel, but continues to fight the virus and strengthen her faith in Redeemer Jesus. We were able to spend a few minutes with her to encourage her and be encouraged by her condition. End quote. Nancy's husband is still in Liberia at this moment. He's expected to fly back to the United States to be with Wrightball and her two sons. We hope to talk to them within the coming days. Now, we've also learned that there's going to be a prayer vigil right here at Emory University Hospital to pray for both patients, as well as a prayer service in Charlotte at the church that Wrightball was a part of. And in just the last few hours, I also talked to Phoenix Air. They're holding a press conference tomorrow to tell us about that plane and you know what exactly happened, how they were able to transport her from Liberia all the way to the United States. Of course, we're going to work on that part of the story for tomorrow. But for now, in Atlanta, I'm Archit Sashadri. Follow me on Twitter at ArchitFox46. Barbara. All right. Thank you for that update, Arch.